Um, this is a little quick range check that I came up with because I had a couple of receivers that were uh, reporting RSSI criticals and warnings uh, unusually often. And I fly RC sailplanes and some have carbon, some don't. I always keep the whiskers out, but I just had a couple that were very annoying and then I came across the next four that really dropped away very quickly and was losing signal. So I was in the basement on the bench and I just came up with this crazy idea to do a little test and that is to cover one antenna and see what the RSSI reading would be. Because the way these receivers work, it's called antenna diversity. At all times, one of them is transmitting and one is receiving, but the uh, program in the receiver, the software, is always looking for which one is, which one is getting the best signal. So they're both receivers, but alternately uh, working, depending on which one is getting the best reception, with the priority towards reception instead of transmitting telemetry. So uh, you'll see that when I walk away here, it's only going to be about 10, 15 feet. I'm going to put my back to it so I have the least possible signal. I'll cover one and then listen to the RSSI numbers, then I'll cover the other one. And with this particular receiver, you'll hear it drop quite a bit from 80s down to the 60s, maybe less. I have it set for every two seconds. Okay, I'm about 15 feet away. I'm going to put one in my palm of my hand that blocks the signal. Okay, now I'm going to cover the other one and turn. And then again, the other one, which you can see, causes a dramatic pause. So what I get out of that is one of these antennas is not getting a, a good signal for whatever's in the seek, uh, uh, circuitry. So it's a simple test, seems to be a valid test, and you can do it whenever you get a new receiver, just to be sure. It's kind of a part one range test before you get to the field. Always do a range test. Use the range setup on your transmitter to make sure your receivers are working in your plane before you launch. You'll know if it's bad, because if you get about 10 feet away, you'll be dropping down to 30 decibels if it's a bad receiver. I've only had one, but it's one way to check.